hello and welcome to the show. We start today's Faroes episode with Ampersand Tilled of roading with a motorhome. Not the normal vehicle that you would choose to uh, to go off roading with, but never mind. This one though has some special properties. It takes it a really very 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 long time to actually sort of fall over. I'm not sure. It might be full of helium or something. It's a uh, yeah, rather, rather peculiar crash for that one. Up next, low riders. These things are great fun to mess around with. However, if you're at high speed and messing about with the hydraulics, sometimes the car might get a little angry at you and decide you should go for a very spectacular flip uh, with the assistance of a baller. There, that's that is an, imp an impressive start and very well landed. Equally, don't annoy motorbikes. It's not a good idea to annoy motorbikes because uh, sometimes they may decide to fire your jeep. Up at the scenery again, yeah, <laughs> running over random bikes. It got a little bit unhappy with uh, with that particular car. Gidge five seven one is uh, trying to get a wanted right to make sure he had his escape route over there that the gates were unlocked. Shoots the policeman in the leg. Gets ready to run. You know things are bad when the AI cars, the normal civilian cars, are much more effective at stopping a fleeing suspect than the police. You know, sure enough, they are. Sidmail twenty one is doing some high speed off roading with his motorbike. Get things a little bit wrong. That's quite a solid rock face, and you're waiting for the big splatter somehow <laughs> it is not not often that you manage to have time to pull the parachute after a big bike crash like that he gets away with it with uh, not many seconds to spare in uh, in all of that killer spike x is uh, slightly slightly tripped over while, <laughs> while jumping at the wing there and then gta 5 decides that the best way to possibly get franklin out from underneath the plane is to go backwards you know not to go to the left or to the right no we're going to reverse all the way out, and then cheat at the end as well, because he can't be bothered to keep with the uh, <laughs> in the motion. Well done, game. Well done, game. Uh, Kentucky Moose is uh, trying to get away from the police. He's got himself stuck in the kind of the little ditch area down here. This is not a particularly good way to go, as he quickly realises the barrier is pretty solid along here, and it's quite narrow. Sure enough, the comet ends up stuck upside down. At this point, he's thinking he's in a lot of trouble, but it turns out the police don't notice an upside down glowing comet. Nope, they just absolutely don't care. Fantastic strategy for getting away and definitely fail race approved. Speaking of getting away from the police, these guys have just managed to lose the cops. The cop cars are still around and they're trying to go back to their normal their normal duties. And well, yeah, it turns out hiding in a bush is perhaps not such a good idea when the policeman is, well, a slight moron when it comes to turning his car around. That's uh, four hits and squashed face against concrete before the uh, game the game eventually decides to be kind and teleports them out to the side. Uh, the, the GTA 5 police, everybody, uh, uh, just spectacular. Now, Colco has managed to run over one of these people, but the other guy, not quite so much. Uh, but, uh, sure enough, I love how he gets down to see what the cop car is going to do. And the second he's in front of the police car, the police car really goes for it and then gets himself completely wedged on the concrete. It's not going to go anywhere, the officer. It is, it is not going to move. So, yeah, well... Well done. In uh, all of that, Shaky077 has uh, has a fire truck and has decided to bully some AI cars. Every so often with the large vehicles, it can be quite fun to push around the AI cars. But you've also got to be aware of some occasionally intelligent AI and some epic karma, as the uh, Picador doesn't fancy going off the motorway, sticks on the brakes, the fire truck can't stop in time, and he's not going anywhere either. Just wedged on the... <laughs> Little bits of concrete there. That's not moving. And we've got another epic parking from Mario. Carries too much speed up this slip road. Bounces off the front of a ruiner and is completely and utterly wedged. Perfectly balanced in the middle of the car. It is, yeah, not going anywhere. His friend comes along to give him a nudge. I was so hoping it was going to land the same way on the barrier below. Very nearly does as well. But uh, rolls off that one and lands on the, lands on the ground. Still though, I'm quite impressed how well balanced he got that car. The Magic Yeti on 4 to 6 with some nasty curbs at Hockenheim. Now, seeing the curbs do many things, never quite seen them do this. Running at full speed hits the curbs, it just spins the car around and fires it back up into the air. Very, very peculiar. Uh, that one. Twisted Metal goes for an impressive double act flip with the Warthog and the gun just carries on firing as if nothing happens. Had to slow it down to have a look, see what happens. It's the crawlers, I think, that uh, launch the Warthog into the air. And that's some impressive strength from one of the crawlers there <laughs> to have uh, fired that Warthog into into space with, uh, with that one. Up next, Dancy Dinosaur 56 is uh, running towards the enemy base. Probably not a good idea. In uh, with a mongoose, you're rather exposed. It is taking lots and lots of bullets. I amazingly survived 
that long. He spots an enemy not paying attention, goes for the splatter, and we get a roll for good measure. I also love how he killed someone with Forza in their game tag. It's just sort of perfect. We've got a <laughs> we've got a rolling mongoose for a kill on someone named Forza. What more could you want from a fair race clip? Up next, we're on to a Dirt 3 with a Mini travelling at a high speed around the uh, the power station, I believe. Goes for the jump, but is slightly twisted on the way up. Not a good thing you want to be doing with these large jumps. And it is promptly stuck. It's not going anywhere. Well, it, well and truly wedged. It does start gradually falling, falling, and then the boot touches the ground and the wheels are still spinning in the air. Yep, the Mini is... Completely and utterly stuck. Small Z on need for speed is trying to turn around on the motorway. Probably not a good idea to be doing that in all honesty. Uh, it turns out the AIs don't really pay attention to traffic. <laughs> Pick up, just nope, we're, we're not waiting, we're just going to climb over. I mean, that is one way to beat rush hour, I guess. And finally, we have a Derp IV on need for speed. Uh, it goes around the corner, gets slapped by one, two, and there's a third AI, just for good measure. Yep, yeah, we're not going <laughs> to let the Porsche go until everyone else has uh, gone past. Good, <laughs> good old AIs there. Uh, uh, making a real nuisance of themselves. Anyway, that is it for this episode. If you have clips you would like to submit to this series, then you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. At the very top of the page is the FRS clip submission section. And there you can find all of the rules and how to submit them. But uh, that is it from me. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye.